In order to better understand the curing process, you have to be aware of the difference between the drying of conventional inks and varnishes and UV-cured substances. Conventional inks are either oil-based or contain water or solvents. Oil-based inks dry through the oxidation of the oil-containing binding agents. Solvent and water-based inks dry through the evaporation of the volatile solvents, alcohol, water, etc. The drying process is accelerated by the application of heat in the form of infrared radiation, but solvent residues still require several hours to evaporate completely. The ink film shrinks and the surface loses gloss due to irregularities in the surface. UV-cured inks and varnishes, on the other hand, are solidified by means of a photochemical process which is also known as cross-linking. This polymerization is triggered by the action of UV energy on ink or varnish. During this process, the photoinitiators contained in the ink or varnish are converted to free radicals. Throughout the UV curing process, these radicals are incessantly attempting to combine with other elements. During this cross-linking process, pigments and other additives are bound in the polymer chain. In the end, during the course of UV curing, all elements in the ink or varnish are merged to form a strong polymer compound. Only when cross-linking is complete, the UV ink or varnish is fully cured and forms a smooth, uniform surface. Unlike conventional inks, UV inks do not contain elements that oxidize or evaporate. On the contrary, all the constituents of UV inks are directly involved in the polymerization process. In this way, the UV ink is retained 100% the dried coating. From an environmental point of view, therefore, UV curing is undoubtedly one of the most eco-friendly technologies.